that we can't go to hairdressers right now. So I wanted to show you guys how I cut Justin's hair and then I'll try to show you guys how I cut Timothy's hair. I'm not a hairdresser. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but what I've been doing, I've been doing since we got married and it kind of works. So I'll just show you my process. So first for Justin, I like his hair a little shorter around the sides, but I always start with a longer clip on the razor. Buzzer is what I call it. <laughs> this is a number three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the shape of his, kind of just where his temp, just above his temple, all the way around the side of his head. I kind of rock it back towards the top so that I pull away from the hair and leave a little bit of length of the hair at the top because I'm going to feather that in with scissors later. Do I still get a cookie if I'm really still? If you're really still, baby. Okay. Actually, a lot of you don't even have cookies. I try to go against the grain of his hair down at the bottom. It all grows in different directions. So as best as I can, I try to find that grain and go against it to make sure that I get all the hair. this down to a number two to get the base. I get the sideburns up to just around close to the ear, to the ear here, and then I get the base of the hairline kind of down through here a little tighter. Okay, so I'm going to put this away for just a bit and I'm going to move to the scissors. I have my comb and the scissors and his hair has been made down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush it off, kind of pour it real quick. And what I like to do is I like to grab a section from the center here and determine the length that I want it. And then I hold it with my fingers. So, I'm gonna take a good bit off the top here because it's not been cut in a nice long time. All right. And now I'm going to go all the way down the center holding this length because it's going to be my guide. I just went around the whole center length of my guide, so you can see the length here. Now what I'm going to do is kind of pie shapes off of that, holding that length, kind of going out. towards you, find that center length, see it there, and cut the extra length off. And I just work my way from back to front, and then I always end up going from front to back as well, checking it. I'm going to work front to back, and this time as I cut, I'm going to have my scissors going down at an angle like this because it'll give it more texture. See how I left the front still long? I haven't cut that yet, That's so I could do it at the angle cut for the texture. If you see, he still kind of has this hard bowl cut edge. This is where I'm gonna start feathering it with the scissors. And so here's what I'm gonna do. I take my fingers and I hold it straight up and down. Actually try to go this way, it's hard with the camera. I try to go straight up and down with this thinnest part of my finger laying flat on his head there. And I'm gonna cut all the excess off there. a thick side and a thinner side. Most everyone does. So this side feathered in quite well. I don't know if you can tell. And I may even take actually a smaller comb and bring the sides down even a little closer to get a little more of a faded look. But if I turn you around, come around, and you look at the back, I don't know if you can tell, there's still some fading to do in the back. 
And this is his thick side, right in here especially. Needs some work and up here. So for this part, I use the comb as the guide because it can get closer than my fingers can. All right, taking the thick side of the comb, I'm gonna just brush it in and pull it up a bit. And some of these hairs that come up through the comb, especially down at the bottom, I can trim them that way. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit more effort right in this stop, thick spot right here. Yeah, see all that that pops up? So now his sides are pretty much done. The top has been trimmed down, but now what I do, he always has kind of this bang shape. And each person is different, but I like him to style his hair up or sometimes he styles it to the side. So I make sure it's a length to where he can style it up. So sometimes I cut the top just a little bit shorter than the rest so he can style it. Now, there may be some stylists that say, don't do that, I don't know. This is just how I do it. <laughs> okay. Now what I'm gonna do is take my buzzer and I don't have a number one clip for this thing. So, let me clean this up real quick. So what I do is I expand the guards as far out as it'll go. This little lever here either brings the blades in close. This is close, Let's see if you can tell. Or far. So I push it out to far. And then just holding it kind of away from the head, I go around the base of his neck and around his ears. Tilt your head to the side here. Angling it away from his head. Going in trimming just a bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the time to style it real quick to make sure it styles the way we like it. Normally he'll shower after this to get all the hair off, but I still styled it with just a little bit of gel to make sure that it styles right. And that lets me trim anything up that I need to. All right, I'll get you a closer up shot real quick. 